So I can go ahead and flip on the light switch using this, this handy dandy uh, device. The whole carport has been converted into an enclosed area for painting. And it's all enclosed. I have one exhaust fan sitting on top of a ladder. Another just out outer vent. The HVLP compressor. The old combustion engine. Generator that's broken. The entrance area. You just kind of slip on by. And we're in the garage. You can hear the fans running. The fans I can just unplug. Here's the car. Two input pant fans to generate positive pressure. All kind of sealed off. Plastic or tarp on the areas. And one exhaust fan. The car itself. Which I keep meaning to take more videos of so I remember it. But here it is. The lighting system, portable, just taped up really well, so don't get any problems. The interior of the car, how it looks right now. The back's still cut up. I might work on that this week. And man, it rusts fast. Yeah, the water dropped on there, rusting. The hood, trunk, fenders are just suspended on a little line. Same with the little parts, taillights. The fenders I can kind of take, rotate up, paint underneath, which are just held on with a little clamp and a piece of wire on the edge, round circles. When I paint one, I paint one on one end, go to the other end, paint it, and after I did that one, the next one's probably dry enough for the cloth or the plastic to go over it to keep it from getting overspray, and then I can paint the next one, and so on, alternating to the trunk or the hood. To the car fan yay